Hello, and welcome to the SAP Ariva Supplier Digital Summit. We're so happy to have you here. Uh, my name is Ricky, and joining me today is Lorraine from our supplier marketing team. And uh, in this session today, I'm going to be talking about the uh, an Ariba network feature that was released in uh, November of 2019, um, and it was meant to help suppliers manage duplicate ANIDs. Um, the benefits of this feature are fewer duplicate accounts, making it easier for your customers to find you, and simplified account management. Um, this feature is our email domain registration. And what that means is that as an Ariba network administrator, you can register your email domain so that you are notified of any new accounts created with your email domain. Now, there are a few prerequisites um, in regards to emailing your domain, and I'll walk you through all of them. Um, the first one is that you must be an administrator for your Ariba network account. Um, next, you can only register an email domain that is uh, in a list of domains of users uh, of the users in your account, uh, as you can see in the screenshot to the right. Um, number three, uh, only validated emails with active logins can be registered. Uh, next one after that, number four, uh, the email domain must not have been registered before. And last, but certainly not the least, uh, the email domain must be a non-public domain. And what that means is um, you can't be registering any Gmail or Yahoo or Hotmail, uh, any of those of the like. Now, once you re register your email domain, you have the option to select block procurement. Uh, checking this option off means that new users with the same email domain can't register for new accounts. Uh, instead, they'll see a screen with an option to contact you as the account admin, of course, um, to resolve this issue for them. Now, one thing that I really want to make sure that you guys are knowledgeable of is that if you do check this option, new users might not be able to respond to purchase orders received by email until they create an account. Uh, if that email domain is blocked, new users trying to sign up for an account will see this notification during the registration process. Um, as you can see, there is an option for the user to contact the admin. Um, alternatively, if a user has an existing account, they can definitely log in and use their own existing account. Now, you can configure your settings to receive email no notifications whenever new users sign up for an account uh, using the same email domain. Um, here's what a notification uh, from your email will actually look like. Um, and one thing to note here is that you may receive a email notification when new accounts are created or the tra new trading relationships have been established. And now I'll pass it off to Lorraine uh, and she'll walk you through the duplicate ANID feature and what that means for you. Great, thank you, Ricky. Another related feature to help manage duplicate ANIDs is the duplicate account check during registration. So when a user receives a new purchase order from your customer, or when they attempt to create a new account, Ariba Network will automatically perform a match and show a notification to the user that there may be an existing account already for that company. As an example, you'll see an email notification sent to the supplier with a purchase order from their buyer. When the supplier clicks on the process order button, Ariba Network performs the match in the background and shows the notification with an option to view the matched accounts. And the match is based on details coming from the buyer's email, so it is based on details in their vendor master. If the supplier recognizes one of the accounts as being one for their company, they have the option to review and contact admin in a secure way. For new account creation without an email from a buyer, the process is the same, except that the data that Ariba Network uses to perform the match is based on the data that the user is entering um, in the registration form. When this feature was first released in November of last year, we had an additional capability that allowed users to search for Ariba Network accounts right on the login screen. This meant that anyone, whether they're an Ariba Network customer or not, can search for existing Ariba Network suppliers. Based on monitoring and feedback, this feature has been removed as it posed security risk, allowing anyone access to search for suppliers in Ariba Network. Um, to protect the privacy of our customers and ensure the highest security standards, this feature has been disabled. Um, but that said, the duplicate account check feature is still available in the two scenarios I described above. 
Um, and last but not the least, as a best practice, if you do have multiple NIDs, um, one good thing to note is you can always hide duplicate accounts in your company profile by simply going to profile visibility settings and checking off the box that says do not expose my company in research results for Ariba Discovery and Ariba Network. So that um, eliminates the confusion for your buyers if they're trying to connect with you or send you purchase orders and there's multiple NIDs for your company. That's really um, great to hear, Sorry. Mm -hmm. And no worries. And that is all. So hopefully you found this session useful. Great. Um, now, just to recap, one quick thing is again, these benefits of these ANIDs are really helpful. Um, they definitely will help you really um, make sure that you'll have fewer duplicate accounts and make it easier for your customers to find you. And with overall simplified account management, you have such an easier way to transact on the network. Um, that's our session today. So um, we do want to thank you for joining us. Um, and definitely please check out some of the other sessions that we have available on the Supplier Digital Summit. Thank you. Thank you.